arrhythmia induced cardiomyopathy encompasses three subgroups with left ventricular dysfunction induced by arrhythmia they are tachycardia with mean heart rate about 100 beats per minute atrial fibrillation and frequent premature ventricular complexes with a pvc burden more than 10% arrhythmia induced cardiomyopathy is confirmed when the cardiomyopathy reverses on cure of the arrhythmia which caused the cardiomyopathy thus arrhythmia induced cardiomyopathy is a reversible form of dilated cardiomyopathy the term does not encompass the cardiomyopathy associated with chronic right ventricular pacing left bundle branch block and pre excitation which are due to left ventricular contractile dyssynchrony as a result of change in sequence of left ventricular activation tachycardia induced cardiomyopathy also known as tachycardiomyopathy was probably the first of the three varieties of arrhythmia induced cardiomyopathy to be documented early in 20th century risk of developing tachycardiomyopathy depends on the type duration and rate of the tachycardia it has been reported to occur in up to 37% of those with incessant atrial tachycardia permanent junctional reciprocating tachycardia may be having the greatest association with tachycardiomyopathy of 20 to 50% as it presents with incessant supraventricular tachycardia due to a postroceptal accessory pathway in one study 4% of patients referred for pulmonary vein isolation for atrial fibrillation had tachycardia induced cardiomyopathy supraventricular arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter with rapid ventricular response are probably the most common causes of tachycardiomyopathy atrial tachycardia atrioventricular reciprocating tachycardia av nodal reentrant tachycardia sustained sinus tachycardia different types of ventricular tachycardia and even pacemaker mediated tachycardia